first of all, what is Business Source Ultimate? Uh, Business Source Ultimate is a data, online database, so there are different ones. Uh, academic data, database with which you have access to actually most of the academic journals in which academic publications are published. And so this is Business Source Ultimate. There are other databases just because Business Source Ultimate only publishes uh, something around 80 to 9 percent full text of the academic articles. And I will show you now how to connect to this database. First of all, you go on the website of EBSCO Business Source Ultimate, which you can find in the slides I've given to you. And then you use the login and the keyword the Business Science Institute has furnished you to log in on Business Source Ultimate. And you click here Business Source Ultimate and you are here in a, now in the platform. And here you can enter keywords. Uh, so go to the advanced research option. And now I would like to find, for example, articles about delivery drones. And you have here different options. You can make the search engine find you in the whole text. But then you will find a lot of different uh, articles or publications. You can, if you know already an, an author, uh, we'll try, try that later, uh, you can find by author. You can reduce it to the title uh, to be sure that you um, use only or that you find only articles in which are really the which are really dealing with delivery drones i would start to search in the title and so uh, you can also make the research by the keywords i would generally start in the title because, because then you will find only articles or we will filter out articles where the word delivery drone is uh, used in the title the engine is searching and you see there are uh, not not a lot only 141 articles which are published about the domain. So which shows that actually the topic is really, really new. Because generally, if you have established domains, let's take the example loyalty programs, you will see loyalty programs exist now for 30 years. And you will see I will have much more information. 1,300. So that is why there are different opportunities to reduce the, the number of articles. Because now I have only have all articles including non-academic articles but you are interested in academic articles and the non-academic articles are interesting to, to have an overview about the market evolution you can use this, these articles to write an introduction but what you're interested in is um, academic articles and so i can reduce either by the time and now i have for example 1959 but at that time you probably won't find a lot of articles so you might reduce to the period you want to know what has been published between 2000 let's say the last five years 2016 to 2021 and we reduce from 1330 to 534 articles so this is one way already to reduce the time but for delivery drones or for disruptive technologies you probably find the articles that were published in the last two, three years. And so uh, reducing the time span makes no sense. That is why you can reduce to scholarly peer-reviewed journals. Uh, that is academic journals. Journals which are, there are journals uh, in which researchers, because these are the qualitative important studies. And you see, I reduce now the number to 134 articles that have been published in the last five years in academic journals. Why should we use academic journals? And then I will show you, you have different options uh, to reduce the number of articles. Academic journals are peer reviewed. What does this mean? And so the research we are doing is not published like that without any criticism. It is examined before by anonymous reviewers, which are from academia, professors, researchers, who will judge our work and will give us advice and that is why the academic journals only the best research is published that is why for these or for any research work we expect you to read academic journals so one option is to reduce the number of articles through ticking only scholarly peer-reviewed journals you see that we reduced 
First, the time span from 1,300 articles about loyalty programs uh, by focusing only on the last five years, we reduce the number of articles to 130. And now we can even reduce more. We only reduce to articles which are top job. Use generally in France, formerly CNRS ranking, or now we have the FNEGE ranking, but in Germany, you have the uh, VHB ranking, but all this is summarized in an over-ranking called Hartzing ranking. And this will show you which are the journals you should focus on. So for example, in marketing, we have A journals or A plus journals, which are the best journals. The Journal of Consumer Research is an A plus journal, so one of the best. Marketing Science is an A plus journal. Journal of Interactive Marketing is an A journal. Journal of Service Research is an A journal. Journal of Retailing is an A journal. See, Journal of the Academy of Marketing Science is also an A journal. Journal of Marketing Research is an A plus journal. A journals is, for example, International Journal of Research and Marketing. Journal of Retailing Consumer Service is a C journal, so it's an average journal. This one is a C journal, so first of all, I would not read it. Journal of Business Research is a B journal, so I would choose this one. Marketing Letters is a B journal. Psychology and Marketing. You have Marketing Science, which is the A plus journal, so absolutely top journal. Journal of Marketing and Journal of Marketing Research, which are absolutely absolute top journals. So now I update. So you see, I can reduce a lot. You see, I still have from 1,000 articles, 32 articles, which are relevant about loyalty programs. So here are the, they are ordered by, from the newest to the oldest one. So we can find here some very recent research about uh, consumer behavior. We can also reduce in this way uh, articles. We can also reduce in this way to the subject terms, consumer behavior. So here, even if you know a given journal, you can also look here for the Journal of Marketing here. Uh, and now I click on Journal of Marketing and I see here all issues until 36. For example, if I want to look, have a look in the latest issue to see if there are articles which I, I might be interested in, I click here and I will have an overview about the articles. You can also find articles by author names. So you then you have to browse with the rubric author name, the author names and can find the articles by author name, if you have already identified relevant authors in your domain. For example, if you want to find my publications, hear my name and you will find all my publications. So you can see here actually a personal privacy paradox, a privacy issues, loyalty programs, um, big data, all which is related to CRM. Uh, here is the article about chatbots, uh, about uh, the technology acceptance model. So you can see, and then you can see here's the full text. Right? So you can download, if I click on PDF, I can now download the whole article on my notebook. And I can, if I wish, I can print it uh, in a paper version. So this is the first thing. The second thing, I go back to what to the results. So you can see here keywords, I, already the title. Here, for example, synergistic and cannibalization effects in partnership loyalty programs are tier programs. Uh, this is an article about the different status uh, you have in loyalty programs. So you have to read then the, the title to see if it's interesting for your research. But you can even go further. You can say, you can look into, if you click on that, you can look here and you have an abstract. So to see if the article is interesting for you, you can read the abstract so instead of reading the whole article. And you can see already in the abstract, the summary, if this article is interesting for you. And you can see here also the keywords. You can see here that they're working on cannibalization. Do brands cannibalize themselves within these programs? Does this increase cross buying? So in other words, if I buy, for example, in Smiles at Casino supermarket, does, do I buy also in Monoprix supermarket or in the Deutschland card? Uh, if I buy at Real, uh, do I buy also at uh, any other partner store in the program? You can already also have an overlook about what the what topics the article is uh, dealing with you can also when you're writing a research work you have to cite 
the authors. Right? So with those who already wrote a bachelor thesis or uh, uh, any other uh, re research thesis, you know yeah, that you have to do a bibliography at the end of the document. And generally, it's very time consuming if you do it at the end. If you do copy paste, copy paste, then it takes a lot of time. So we have now citation tools. This is also something which you should download in the future, in the next couple of days and weeks. Uh, for example, we have Mendeley and we have um, Zotero, uh, which I will show you also in some instance. And yeah, to cite, you can export this article, direct export in RIS format, which can be used in a reference manager like, for example, Zotero and uh, Mendeley, which are citation softwares, they are free, and you can download them on your computer. And uh, if there's an add-on which you can introduce in Word, and whenever you cite an author, then it will be done automatically with your cit citations. Uh, and you can also save directly, here you can see there's a folder, this, article is interesting for me for example this article is interesting me for me and this so you put it in the folder and then you see i have three articles here in my folder i can export now this these articles in the folder into my citation software so instead of doing that individually i can directly put them directly in my folder uh, to export them and i can also export you know, uh, them the pdf file on my computer and so this is a very convenient function and we talked about ease of use of uh, uh, digital tools this is uh, clearly a function that enables us uh, to do things more easily because you can add all the the the, the results directly in uh, in the folder and now i go in my into my folder and i will see there are all the articles that i i have saved and again i can save them here for me in my citation software, uh, or I can save them also in a Word format so if I want to make a Word document. And I can export it here into my citation manager, uh, like, uh, like Zotero. Uh, Zotero, yes. There are other, other citation software, I would recommend you Zotero or Mendeley, because these are actually the most, uh, yeah, they're free and the most used tool. So this is the first thing I would like to show you. Right, let's come back to our research engine. Let's, let's come back to our example of delivery drones. Let's say all the text. If we put now delivery drones and all the text, we will find a large amount, 126 articles, because it will scan the articles within the article. But then we will have much more information to cope with. That is why I would recommend to do it in the title, and then you make update. We might augment, say, from the year 2000, from 15, we are still at 15. Huh? So actually, all of what was published about delivery drones happened in the last five years. And the journal quality is not so good. And I see there's no marketing journal. If I look here, transportation research. So the articles have been mainly published in transportation journals, huh? transportation science, huh? as you can see. Yeah, which, what is the, the first conclusion? Few is published. Now you have to put yourself to, to the uh, position of a researcher. If you want to do a research, you want to publish, you want to do a contribution, you, know, you want to, to, to add on research. So we see that very few has been published about delivery drones, which is the good news. Because on, in this case, uh, we can do a contribution because few has been published. We are new, eh? it's like innovation. Eh? We can be the first to publish on delivery drones. We can have a pioneer effect by being the first to publish on, on the domain. And what we can see is there's only one journal here, consumer acceptance of delivery drones in urban areas. And we work on te technology acceptance. So there's one article only dealing with that. That's good news is that actually the contribution we can do is big because nobody or only few people has published. Bad news, if you have a virgin domain topic where few people or few research researchers have, have, have searched. It might be fantastic, but it might have a lot of pitfalls and traps in which you can fall because nothing has been published. And that's typically uh, the, the case for disruptive uh, technology topics. 
So for example, if we, I put here technology acceptance, so you can reduce the number of articles, again, in the title, actually nothing. So I put to text. So we have actually yeah, two articles about technology acceptance of delivery drones. We have by chance the full te text file. We can now access to the article. It's a not a very well journal, but it doesn't matter because uh, if there's nothing published, you can even read or you should even read these articles which are not really you know, the, the top jobs. How to proceed if you find few articles? As for the example for the delivery drums. So you could do the following. As there are very few articles about delivery drones, now it is important to see what is similar to delivery drones. Perhaps we can have a look on delivery means and technology acceptance, because as we can see, there's only few research about drones. There's nothing. So you see, it might become complicated. As we do not find anything about delivery drones, now it might make sense to look by transport. Here, factors of acceptability and usage for non-rail autonomous public transport vehicles. It is liter literature review. So we, it might perhaps make sense to look at the articles that are a little bit anal analog, analogous to drones. Uh, this is a mean of transport. And so what are the factors of acceptance for other means of transport? This is how I would proceed. Or as delivery drones come into homes, perhaps it might make sense also to look at journals or for our publications that examine the acceptance of smart homes. We'll try again in the title. It might make sense uh, to, uh, to look at publications not about drones, because we didn't, do not find anything about drones. So it, it makes sense to, to look, for example, other means of transport or smart homes or autonomous vehicles, uh, because they, they have also kind of uh, safety risks. We want to know which might be all factors that influence drone delivery. And that's the only way to do that, uh, to look at the literature to find articles which might fit to that. So it's complicated for us to find. That is why we have to, we are struggling and we, are, we have to help ourselves. And we have to do improv improvisation. And this is improvisation is when we look now at other technologies, how, how they are accepted. Because our aim is now to understand the factors that influence drone deliveries. And the only way is you know, to make comparisons to equivalent or similar technologies in order to see which are these, uh, these technologies that might give us input to find the antecedents of drone delivery except. Just one point, most article are with, articles are with PDF. And so you can have, you have the full text. I will show you the chatbot article published in Journal of Service Research Management. But the problem is now what do you do if an article is not available on full text? For example, here, my article in psychology and marketing is not in business source ultimate. There are different options you can use. Either, as you can see the authors, and you have here the email address, you could write to the uh, author uh, and can ask him or her to send you the article. Generally, the authors and the professors are very open. So the easiest way would be if it's not, if you don't have the full text try to google and identify the author or authors and ask them to send you the full text another mean would be to go to the other databases because psychology and marketing is willy uh, you see here the publisher is willy and i can go back here to interface of the university and willy science direct is here i can try to find it on another platform and i will try to identify this article now like that Here's the article we are searching for. I click on PDF and I can download the article. For example, if we go to Science Direct now, with Science Direct, here, for example, my Journal of Business Research article or my autonomous car article is published by uh, Science Direct. And you can download it not on Business Source Ultimate, but you can download it, load, load it on, on Science Direct. 
So I would recommend it to, to make it easy, use business source ultimate, and with that you cover around 80 to 90% of all publications, which are relevant for you. If you cannot find them like in this way, then you can write to the authors. So fix the priority in the selection of literature material. So start with a broad synthesis. You can use Wikipedia or encyclopedias for the definitions in order to define, but then you should adjust the definitions according to the academic articles you read. And first of all, you should start to read top journals. Don't lose your time by reading C or G, D journals. So there are rankings. Here are the rankings. I will also come back to these rankings in, in the next session, but uh, uh, here are rankings uh, showing you which are the A plus journal, or these are the A plus A and B journals in marketing, uh, journal of marketing, it's an A plus, it's the best journal, journal of marketing research, uh, also A plus, journal of consumer research, marketing science, journal of the Academy of Marketing Science, international journal of research and marketing, journal of retailing, marketing letters. These journals are more generalist journals, with the exception of journal of retailing, which focuses on retailing or Journal of Consumer Research, which focuses on consumer behavior research. You have Journal of Service Research, which is also a journal, which is also service oriented. And then you have Journal of Interactive Marketing, which is more digital marketing oriented. Journal of Business Research is a generalist journal about uh, you know, all kinds of marketing topics. Journal of Consumer Marketing, it's again a journal of consumer behavior. Journal of Service Marketing, a journal about service research. And yeah. only go to lower ranked journals such as C journals or D journals if your topic is specifically covered there. Start with a broad synthesis. You can use encyclopedias for the definitions in order to define, but then you should adjust the definitions according to the academic articles you read. Only consider books or conference contributions if you do not find anything else. So for the literature review, only use academic research articles for the introduction, you can use internet or sector or consulting articles in order to show the importance of the market. But for the literature review, use only academic sources. And business source ultimate, you have to use it. It's like every software tool. It's not very complicated to use. Homework will be to get familiar with this tool. Try to play with that. Try to find keywords. It is important to find the adequate keywords that you can find in the title, if you search by title, or if you find few research or few articles, you can extend to search in the whole articles in the rubric of uh, Business Source Ultimate. Try to find and to use by author names if you have already identified authors in your domain. So my recommendation is to use Business Source Ultimate and to get familiar with this tool. Also try to storage the data, try to uh, apply what I've shown to you by storaging, by recording the articles, which then can be used to an, to an extensive, extensive literature review or to do scientometric literature reviews, which we will see in another lecture about the, when we use VOS Viewer uh, to analyze literature and to do an extended literature review by scientometric measurement tools of scientometric methods.